I don't always record videos on Thursdays, but I had to for this double eviction. With both Leah and Angela going out back to back, I personally love it. I know Twitter is up in flames, but that's usually why I like it. Anytime Big Brother Twitter is in shambles means something's going well for me, because I usually disagree with everyone on there, placating up everybody, just all having the same opinion. But here we are with Angela going home tonight. This video for Nikki in the comments, haven't seen in a couple weeks, but back when Quinn was uh, evicted, I was celebrating and she celebrated with me because I wanted Quinn out so bad. She's been wanting Angela out for what seems like over a month now. Finally, Angela was evicted. The first unanimous vote of the season as well. Good stuff. Very good stuff. Look, Angela had her moments. She was very entertaining the first month of the season. After that, though, she started grading on me. It was kind of the same shtick over and over. Truly, the the moment that I was over her was the whole her eating the Lay's potato chips in the episode, which was gimmick infringement on Taylor. And as a pro wrestling fan, hate gimmick infringement. Also, the comparison doesn't make any sense because Taylor was just being hated on from the very beginning of that season, whereas Angela was HOH the first week and put herself in this position for weeks and weeks and weeks with her own terrible social game. So that whole comparison in the first place was dumb. Chelsea winning the double HOH, I think she needed to win it. Um, Angela could have won it. Angela losing it on uh, the price is right, don't go over thing is kind of chef's kiss to me because she's been on the price is right. CBS loves them some Angela. Angela losing in a price is right style tiebreaker makes sense to me. The thing I liked about Chelsea's double here is it was the opposite of what I've had to sit here and talk about for weeks now with HOHs, where HOHs take out the players that they don't need to take out. We saw Quinn take out Joseph. We saw Leah take out t -Core. We saw MJ take out Leah, all on their HOHs, which was problems for their games. Chelsea, I know Twitter, this is why I always disagree with them. The, the, the brain cells aren't there. Twitter is MJ. Like, I sit here and talk about MJ having one brain cell. As a whole, everyone on Twitter, but especially Big Brother Twitter, have they share one brain cell because they all want to think the same. And they all want to say, MJ should be the one put up on the block. MJ should be the one getting out tonight. Yeah, maybe if somebody else won besides Chelsea and Angela, sure. But Chelsea should have not have been the one to take on MJ. Not at this point. Doesn't make sense. Maybe MJ will try and take out Chelsea, although the way I, I don't see that happening. We have no indication that MJ will think that way, especially with the way she's thought over this past week. But yeah, Chelsea being the one to take out MJ, I don't see why she should be the one to do it. She played this the right way, unlike the past three HOHs who played it the wrong way, taking out people, putting up people that they shouldn't have put up. So no, Chelsea should not have put up MJ and tried to get out MJ because that's just a, a bitter juror in the making. And if Leah goes and bees bitter towards Chelsea, I, it's just sour grapes because she was outplayed. So I don't think that's going to necessarily catch on in the jury. I don't think Quinn will be a bitter juror as much as I hated him as a player. And I said this when he was evicted. I feel like Quinn will not be bitter, even though he has a reason to be bitter with Chelsea because when she was HOH, she told him he was safe till the next round and then he, she ended up renoming him and getting him out. And obviously t is not going to be against Chelsea. So I don't, I don't know. If Chelsea makes the end right now, she's doing good not having a bitter jur jury against her, I think. I think they will respect her game. But Chelsea hasn't made the end yet. There is still 
an end game to be played. I said this last week, I think, and I said this in the comments the other day. Chelsea shouldn't have been worried about this double eviction. I wasn't worried about Chelsea at this double eviction going. Chelsea needs to worry about Final Four or Final Three. That's where it's going to be tricky for her. If she can survive Final Five, then she can play in Final Four and Final Three HOHs, which is good for her. She did have to nominate Kimo and Rubina. I don't know how Kimo will take that. Rubina was the renom, and I would not be surprised if Rubina volunteered to be a pawn, the way Rubina sometimes plays this game. Rubina, I think, still wants to be in Chelsea's corner, especially because t -Core told her to be, and I do think that goes a long way with Rubina. Kimo might want to do something, but at this point, is he going to work with MJ? Because he also wants MJ out. And him and Cam don't have a great relationship. So I, I think Chelsea could be safe this week at Final Five, even though she can't play HOH, because I still don't know if there's going to be targets on her back. We're late in the game, though, and maybe Kimo and Rubina will think that way, but will they even be the HOH? Will Cam even be the HOH? Kimo does good at vetoes every once in a while, clearly. Rubina won an AI arena, but has a one HOH. Chemo has a one HOH. Cam has a one HOH. Is MJ just going to win HOH again this week? It's very much possible. So we'll, we'll have to wait and see on that if Chemo, Rubina, and Cam can step up their, their HOH play, or will MJ just be HOH again, and then we have to deal with her one brain cell again, which... Well, giving me a headache the past couple days, so I kind of hope that isn't the case. That's where we stand after the double. Like I said, I usually don't record a video. On, well, sometimes I record a video on Thursdays, but sometimes I don't because I don't really like to talk about the episodes. I like to talk about the live feeds because, yeah, but usually on Thursdays, the, the live feeds don't kind of come back and, and be anything important until later in the night. Also, my Dallas Cowboys are playing, and uh, they're actually winning for once. So there's a lot of reason to celebrate, although there's a lot of game left there. But Angela's out. Leah's out. I'm happy about it. The fact that Twitter's in shambles about it makes me even happier. I have this conversation every season I talk about it on the channel. When Twitter isn't happy, Big Brother Twitter isn't happy, I'm usually happy because I don't have that whole sheep mentality. I know a bunch of YouTubers tonight... I don't watch any of them, but I'm sure they're going to get on here and cry about Angela being evicted because Twitter's crying about Angela being evicted. So they have to placate to the audience. But here, happy Angela's out. Angela was good TV at first. I still want to see older players come back in future seasons, but that shtick got old. The gimmick infringement didn't make any sense. And most importantly, the real big reason I wanted her gone sooner rather than later was because Grodner and Meehan, who I hate, loved her too much for my liking. She was production pet. She was the only player with a consistent edit all season. Not necessarily a good edit, but at least it was consistent. Most players' edits this season have been all over the place. Hers was consistent, and I do think that's because production loved her too much. Um, that's it. Happy Leah's gone. Happy Angela's gone. We'll see who the new HOH will be.